What's up, everybody? It's Mitch from RetroGameFix.com, and once again, we bring you another installment of our Sega Master System A to Z Marathon. This week, we bring you our second third-party release on the system in a row, California Games by Epix, ported to the Master System in 1989. Epix branched out into California games after a good amount of success from their series Summer and Winter Games. And California games was ported to quite a few popular systems back in the day and sold very well. California games was a very popular multi-event game in the same vein as TNC Surf Design on the NES. Players can challenge each other in one or all of six completely distinct events. Let me preface this review by stating that I owned this game when I was a kid and was equally inept and terrible, so unlike most of our reviews up to this point, this review turned out to be more of a blooper reel, So I'm basically embracing how awful I am at this game. In the frisbee portion of the game, which is one of my personal favorites, you can control two players in tandem to complete a throw and catch for points. It's really a pain to anticipate the switch from one player to the next, and oftentimes I found myself jumping too soon or creating one of many other blunders. The look and feel of the surfing portion of this game is extremely similar to TNC Surf Design. The viewpoint and movement are identical, and my lack of skill also translate perfectly. The skating portion of this game is controlled by continuous down-up movement. To control your speed, well, you can use one of your buttons to time jumps over various ridiculous objects. This one definitely gave me a pretty mean blister when I tried to get better, and I'd say it's not worth it. My favorite part of this portion is when the skater falls flat on her face. Which I did again and again and again. Ultimately, my favorite portion of this game was the Hacky Sack event. Although I'm definitely terrible at this as well, it was definitely kept my interest and I didn't mind playing it over and over. My ultimate goal was to pull off a sweet move with an even better name, the Axel Foley. I definitely remember enjoying this one a lot more when I was a kid, and looking back, I really don't think it aged very well. The graphics and sound are not at all good, the nostalgia might be the best part of this one. It's easy to get sucked into a few of the events, but this classic fell flat with the adult version of me. It's worth looking for the more valuable blue card version of this game, but I'd skip it unless you're a true collector. I give this one a 2 out of 5. And with that, we will see you next week with the next installment of our Sega Master System Marathon.